Hello and welcome back to the HTML basics section. In this section we will finally start coding some HTML. But before we get to the actual coding, we need to first pick a text editor. This is the program that we will use to write all our code. A modern text editor should have features such as syntax highlighting and code completion for quick development. In this course, I will use a text editor called Brackets. It is perfect for web development and offers some features I really love and are really useful. I would even say that this is the best text editor for web development out there. It's available for Mac OS X and also for Windows. And the best thing, it is completely free. So let's go download it. So here in Google, it is quite easy to find it. Just type brackets.io. Okay, then download and install it right here. I don't have to do this because I already have it installed here on my Mac. I strongly suggest you to use this editor, but if you are already familiar with some other text editor, you can of course use that for this course. So I hope you managed to install Brackets by now. So now let's go open our Brackets app. When you do that for the first time, you'll see this simple demo HTML file explaining how the editor works. We don't need that for now because I will show you everything you need to know over the next sections. For now, I just want to briefly go over the most important parts of the interface. It's very simple yet very powerful. So as you can see right here, here in the middle goes all the code we're gonna write over this course. On the left side we have the files that are currently opened, named here the working files. And there's also a file tree that shows all files contained in a project. In this demo project it's only an HTML and a CSS file and a folder, yeah, screenshots. And then we have the right side and there is a plugin bar. There are tons of cool plugins for brackets which are like apps that extend the functionality of the editor. And we will actually use some of them later in the course. So very simple but very powerful. And the most important thing here in the middle where we will write our code. So that was a very small introduction to brackets. Now let's go started with some HTML in the next lecture. See you there.